today for our note sheets, a little bit different. Has anyone done one of these before? No, 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 no. So let me explain, ready? You guys are all going to get one sheet like this. First thing, name goes on the back. Where does your name go? Yeah. On the back. So we want to make sure we know who everyone is. Each flap is a different vocabulary word. We just went over all of them, but we're going to go over them again. And so you're going to write the vocab word, open it. There's a definition that you have to fill in the blanks. And then you can draw an example or write about an example. Does that make sense? It's a little book. We're going to help with putting words on the board, but that's how it works. Does that make sense? So we're going to start at the top where it says number one. You open up the first flap. Can someone volunteer to read that first definition out loud? It's describing a food chain. So what's the definition of a food chain? That has plants and meats. What is a food chain? What is the what does the food provide for animals and plants? What are they looking for in a food chain? Energy. energy. So that's the second blank. So food, energy. You guys want to write that in? So it is the blank of food energy. It is the what of food energy? What happens to the energy in a plant when a rabbit comes along and eats it? The energy goes to the rabbit. Do you know what that's called? Where it goes, an exchange. It could be the exchange. It could also be a path, right? Because we made a line with our food chain. So the energy from the sun goes to the grass. It goes to the rabbit. So that's a path. It's a direction. So a food chain is the path of food energy from one organism to another. So we said some of the um, examples we had with the cards were food chains. What was the other example, like the first one? What was that called? A food a web. web. So that's the next word. So right down the outside. So food web. Go down the next flap. Describe to me the definition of a food web. What's a food web? Anyone from the back table? Tuli? Do you have an idea? What a food web is? Yes. It's when. When an animal has more than one predator. That's true. So there's multiple paths for them, which means there's multiple food chains, right? So for our example of the cards, we had the sun, the tree, then there was the giraffe, the rabbit, the deer. So the lion could eat any of those three. So you can break up that food web into multiple food chains. Does that make sense? So the definition, so inside your flap, it is an overlapping food chain. A food web is overlapping, so there's multiple. So the next word, so we had the sun, and then what did we always have after the sun? A plant. What's another name for a plant? In a food chain. Does anyone know? It starts with a P. They're called a producer. So they produce the energy from the sun. So write producer on the third flap. Producer. So an example of a producer could be grass, tree, fruit plants. Okay, now help me fill in the blanks. A producer is an organism that can make its blank food. Can make it like what? What can the blank be? Erica. It makes its own food, so it doesn't eat anything. It makes its own food. It's an organism that can make its own food by using energy from its. From its 
They make food by using energy from its surroundings, so anything around it. It doesn't actually eat anything. It absorbs the energy from the sun or anything from the soil to help grow and make its own energy. So from its surrounding. Bang Wai, that's right. A plant does go through photosynthesis to convert the sunlight into energy. Okay, we talked about three different types of consumers. What was the first one we talked about that, for example, is the deer, giraffe, or a rhino even? What, do, what does a giraffe, rhino, what do they, what do they eat? Plants. Plants. So what is that called when they just eat plants? Herbivore, right? Let's all say together. Herbivore. Herbivore. So that goes on your next flap. Flap on the outside. Okay. What's another type of consumer? Let's see what the next one is. Are animals that eat other animals are called carnivores. So carnivores go on the outside of the flap. Okay. What's the third type of consumer? Omnivores, that's the last type of consumer. And the definition, anyone know what the blank is that's inside? Are animals that eat, that eat both plants and animals. That's close. Both plants and animals. They're called what? Omnivores. So what was the example of a decomposer that was out there today? A plant. A mushroom. So mushroom on the side. Those are all examples. So here's a quick song that Ari's gonna help sing with us. So you guys all know the song Jingle Bells? Yeah.
go omnivores, carnivores. So make a chain. Like we go. We are not together. So on each white sheet of paper, you're gonna think about your food chain. What is being eaten first? And you're gonna draw that. Say it's an ant or a deer. Say a deer is your first one. A deer eats grass. So a deer is an example of a herbivore. So you draw the deer. Then you write herbivore. And then what would I put on my second chain for an example? What can eat a deer? A lion. A lion. So you could put a lion in your next one. And then what is a lion an example of? Keep up. Carnivore. 